If you've always wanted to be a pilot, but considered it a bit too out of reach, either because of the expense or the time, then hopefully this video will change your mind. I've been flying for 15 years since my 20s on a very modest budget, and I'm going to tell you how to get into flying in the USA, Europe and the UK. This is going to be the first video of a series where I will cover the different types of licenses, how to save money on your training, what aircraft are good beginner aircraft, and how to get into flying on almost any budget. Okay, let's start with looking at some different forms of flying, starting with the super cheap and working our way up to helicopters. This video is going to cover gliders, hang gliding, paragliding, flex wings, light sport aircraft, regular aircraft, auto gyros and helicopters. We'll be looking at training and cost and safety for each. Now, initially I made a long video covering all this information, but heck, there is a lot of information for one video. So what I'm doing is I'm breaking these up into separate videos of the different types of flying. So you can have a look at my playlist, which has a link in the description below this video, or you find it on my channel, of course, and you can jump straight to the type of flying that you're most interested in. Before we jump onto the next video, let me sum up the different type of flying contraptions here in a nice little summary so you know which one you're most interested in. So let's start with sailplanes, also known as gliders. This is a great way to get into flying on an affordable budget. Many pilots start off this way, particularly in their younger days. This is how I started. Gliding gives you a great understanding of weather systems, which will serve you really well for any type of flying that you want to do in the future. It, the challenge with gliding is staying up in the air because you don't have the motor. And that means that it's more of a challenge of staying up rather than a means of getting from A to B. Although experienced glider pilots can stay up all day under the right conditions, so you can get plenty of flying with them. Also, though, it takes a few people to get you up into the air, so it is a club sport. You are going to need some help. It's a great way of making new friends, but it does mean that you have to help out with others getting them into the air. Finding thermals is similar for hang gliding, but hang gliders are easier to transport. You can get them into a car usually and you can take off under your own power. You just find a suitable hill or cliff and run off the end. So hang gliding, you can take it to new locations and explore them from above. Sailplanes, they will fit on a trailer that you can tow with a car, but you do need a means of taking off. So for hang gliders, you're a bit more autonomous. You can go to a new location and then go gliding. Let's take a look at paragliders, which are another way of turning up to a location and discovering it from the air. Paragliders, they have a motor, so you can get around without being completely reliant on the thermals. You can also get paragliders in the back of most large cars, so you can actually take them to a new location and then take off. Microlighting, also known as ultralights, come in two forms. One is the flex wing and the other is the fixed wing. The fixed wing version is your basic light sport aircraft. We'll look at the flex wing first. It's basically, it looks like a hang glider with a trike and a motor underneath. Think of it like a paraglider hang glider crossover with more power and more capability. And you can take a friend up. With these, you'll require a local airfield to operate from usually, but you can operate from a, a farm if you can find a suitable farm. And you can get from one airfield to another fairly reliably. They are limited to fair weather flying. You'll be wrapping up warm because you're exposed to the elements, but that means that the views are spectacular and you really know that you're flying. Fixed wing microlights or light sport aircraft are light aircraft, usually 600 kilograms or less in weight, and they're designed to be more affordable than other light aircraft flying. You might want to start here and then convert your license to bigger and better things like I've done. Although that's not always the case, you're not always able to do that. So keep an eye out for my videos on licensing if you want to know if this is possible or not. Again, link in the description below this video. These aircraft are limited to daytime flying in fair weather. You can go quite some distance with them. You can even cross borders and go to different countries with them, but you will be flying VFR, which means inside of the ground, away from clouds and during the day. Now, light aircraft flying, this is perhaps where you're going to start your professional pilot career if you want to go and fly commercially. So these are more expensive than light sport aircraft simply because they're bigger, they're going to burn more fuel, but you can take more passengers with you and you can do more things with them. You can get night ratings with them, instrument ratings, so you can fly through worse weather and, and through clouds. You can go on to get your multiple engine ratings and you can get your commercial pilot rating with these. Next, we have helicopters. I won't dwell on these too much. We all know what a helicopter is and what they can do. They can take off vertically and land vertically. So there's a lot that you can do with them. 
Now, they are very reliant on that spinny thing at the top working, so they have very strict maintenance schedules, and many parts have a finite lifespan of a certain number of hours. Once those hours are up, they've got to be changed. So this all means that helicopters can end up being quite expensive, one of the most expensive forms of flying. Finally, we look at auto gyros, also known as gyroplanes. Now, they look like a helicopter, but they're more of a helicopter equivalent to a flex wing microlite. The top spinny blades at the top act like a glider's wing though, because they are in auto rotate and need the craft to be moving forwards through the air in order to generate lift. So they can't take off vertically and land vertically. However, they don't need much room at all, particularly in wind. So if you do have a very short amount of runway or a very small farm strip to take off from, auto gyros are a good option. I've made an entire video about auto gyros if you're interested. So have a look for that on my channel. Okay, I hope this video has inspired you to learn more and start your journey on getting your wings, whatever form that takes. You don't need as much money as you'd think, and I've been able to do this on a very modest budget. This is what this video series is about, and I'm gonna look at how ways for you to save money, as well as ways that I've saved money in flying. The other videos are gonna cover costs, training, and safety, and basically how to get involved in them. So if you're interested in learning more about any of these particular types of flying, have a look for my videos in this playlist here.